So let's look at the least common multiple and another way of just kind of listing it out and finding the least common multiple. And we also, we know that multiples are the answers to multiplication problems when you have two factors that you're multiplying together. So let's look at three and four. We want to find a common multiple of three and four, the least common multiple. So if I look at multiples of three, I know that I have three times one is equal to three, three times two is equal to, to six and so on. These are the multiples of three where three is a factor of these numbers. And I look at multiples of four. I know that four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12. These are the multiples of four when, when four is a factor, uh, you know, as we kind of just start out multiplying four. Well, what I notice automatically is the least common multiple they have in common is 12. The first one that I get to that's an answer for them where they are a factor is 12. So I know that, you know, obviously four times three is 12 and three times four is 12. That's the least common multiple that they have in common. So they may have others in common, like they have 24, but 12 is the least one that they have in common. And so when I look at that, some of this you may figure out right away, or some of this you may have to actually list out to find what the least common multiple is. But this is going to help you a great deal when you get into fractions and you start to solve fractions that have unlike denominators, especially when you add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. You're going to need the least common multiple in order to do that.